Hi everyone. I'm at the University of South Carolina in uh, wherever that is. South Carolina, I think. And I've got a show in half an hour. And uh, just thought I'd check in. This is what this is what was waiting for me in terms of hospitality when I arrived uh, in this really nice backstage area they've got. I mean, if that doesn't say welcome, I don't know what does. What are you gonna do? What am I gonna complain that they're not giving me food? Yeah. I am. I was strangely compelled by the um conversation. I heard something on the radio once, a political science story on like all things considered or something, and they were comparing speaking patterns of different political figures, one of whom was Ariana Huffington, and they played tape of Ariana Huffington. She does not pause before speaking, nor during speaking, nor seem to consider her words at all. They tumble from her mouth in a never-ending stream of coherent sentences. You may not agree with what she says. I don't know. I don't know who you are. But when she speaks, she speaks in fully formed, fully realized paragraphs. I don't know if this is always the case, but it was the case on that particular story. And they were comparing it to other people who, like most people, stutter, stop, consider, contemplate, and generally take time to measure and weigh their words. But not Ariane Huffington. I don't want to be berated for being a bad friend because I didn't fucking call Josh Molina. How many times do I need to see Josh Molina in a year? I already saw him this year. I had dinner with him twice in a week. You're give me shit about not calling him when I'm in Pasadena? Look, I have very uh, few days to myself. One of them I had in Pasadena. I was behind on work. thought I would get some work done while I was by myself in Pasadena. It didn't even occur to me to call anybody. Didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to fucking see you. All right? And I didn't want to see you, Dean Cameron, who I don't even know. Didn't want to see you either. I didn't want to see Steve Age. I didn't want to see. I didn't want to see anybody. I felt bad today because I wrote what you know turned out to be an offensive tweet. And normally it doesn't bother me when I do that, but it was it was offensive. I said that that guy from Blink One Eighty Two already looked like he was in a plane crash before he was actually in a plane crash. And see, even saying it out loud is kind of making me laugh. But I felt bad because people did die in that plane crash. And it really wasn't about anything other than that's a weird looking guy. You know, he looks like, as I said in a later tweet to clarify, he does look like he got hit in the face with a propeller. And I felt bad about it, I really did. I could have deleted it, but that just seemed like it's already out there, what are you gonna do? So I felt bad about that. I don't usually feel guilt about horrible things that I tweet, but I felt bad about that. Oddly, I felt bad about something I tweeted about Ryan Reynolds once, which was so innocuous as to be meaningless. But I said, I'm not, nor will I ever be a Ryan Reynolds fan. Why would I say that? I got nothing against Ryan Reynolds, but I, for some reason that made me feel bad. I think it's just when I single somebody out for meanness. And I don't, I don't think of myself as mean, but I am. I say mean things all the time, and I need to stop. But Josh Molina really is getting fat. 